All right, hello everybody. It's Mr. Second Amendment here, and today I'm going to show you how to disassemble the M14 rifle. It's about time I finally did that, so here it is. Uh, first, we're going to start just like how we start every disassembly. We're going to make sure that the rifle itself is unloaded, which I already have, but for safety's sake, we're going to do it again. Go ahead and lock that. It's on safe. And it's unloaded, as you can see there. So we're going to go ahead and start. So, first thing that we want to do is start here. We're going to pull the trigger guard in a uh, back and up type of motion and pull it straight up just like that and this the stock will come right off so we're gonna set the stock aside so right now we have three main groups we have the trigger group we also have the barreled receiver and then we have the stock which you already saw so how are we gonna do this well first thing I want to do is now, you guys are going to have civilian M1As, so disregard this next step because you guys don't have these parts. But we have this um, guide arm here we need to take off along with the uh, full auto selector switch assembly right here. So just bear with me, I'm going to take this part off real quick. And basically, how we do that, in case you're interested, is we push on the rear of the guide arm there, we push it towards the muzzle, and then we I'm going to get my hand around here, and we pop that arm out of there, and we swing that around, and then we take that part off just like that. Okay, now we're pretty much at the civilian stage. Well, in fact, we are. This is what you would have now, uh, minus the selector assembly. So we're going to go ahead and relieve tension with this spring here. Is a little nub. I like make sure you hold the spring because you don't want that spring flying across the room. It can hit you in the face. I'm gonna pull that spring back, take our fingernail, and lift that, move it to the right. And you see that little part there. I'm gonna lift that, move it to the right, and slowly pull out the spring. And then spring guide right there. So now you can see all the parts we have so far. Now we have this, which can now move independent of the spring because it's not in there anymore. Um, now for the military version, you actually, you can see right here, it's milled out. You can take out the, the uh, op rod right there. On the civilian version, I'm not sure. I think it might be like the grand back here. Um, actually, I haven't looked at the civilian version. But anyway, we're going to pull it out, and the guide rod, or the op rod, comes right out like that. And you'll see right here on the bottom, we just pull that part out. And now we have the bolt in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Alright, so now the bolt is out, and we have ourselves a empty barreled receiver. Now you could take off the handguard. Um, you don't really need to, so I usually refrain from doing that. Um, and also you could take apart the the gas cylinder assembly right here, um, which usually if you do it right requires a special wrench to take that off right there with the gas plug. Um, but essentially you just unscrew that and swing off this cap and then the whole thing just comes apart pretty simple actually uh, we're not going to do that because it doesn't need it and my philosophy is if it doesn't need it then don't do it especially with guns um, so basically that's how to take it apart and now we're going to put it back together so pretty much same thing in reverse going to take the bolt and basically just float it in there um, you just kind of, you know, with the firing pin and all that, you got to finagle it in there. Um, so just kind of make it work. Um, there's nothing really I can offer about that. 
Um, next thing we need, you're going to actually start at this guide right here. And you're going to put that right in the hole. And I actually like to, I'll rewind here, I like to put the bolt all the way back to the rear of the receiver. And then I'll get back to this part, start working, feed that in simultaneously while we're put that right over there. And all you have to do is watch this. Just ram it forward. And you just want to double check to make sure it's still good to go, which it is. So that's all good. I'm going to go ahead and put the guide arm back on the receiver. Um, civilian step, you know, you don't actually have to do this at all. So we put that in that little uh, notch right there. We swing this forward. And again, we push on the rear of the guide arm towards the muzzle. We want to float it into this space right here until it clicks and it's secure. All right. So now it's locked in there. Good to go. You can see how that works right there. The guide arm and that little milled part actually keeps it in. The civilian rifle, I'm not exactly sure actually uh, if it's the same. And now I've noticed this really does not matter which end you put this in. Um, you get a different guide rod or a different spring, it might depend, but for the standard GI version, just doesn't matter, just throw it together. Um, you got that hole right there in the off rod. Gonna throw that in there just like the M1 Garand, pretty much, if you guys are familiar. Alright, now this can get a little tricky. Again, biggest thing you need to worry about right now is the spring tension. Could be a safety issue if you don't do it right. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this best I can while keeping it in view but just want to scrunch that down and I know I'm not doing too good a job showing it all right so it's like that you want to push back on that knob right there when you get it right and it's secure all right now we're gonna grab our stock again now we're gonna actually start at the front end and I'll show you how this works we're gonna take the M14 the barreled receiver, put it over the stock, and then bring the rifle together, kind of swing it together. And we should have something like that. Okay. Now, we're going to take our trigger group, we're going to slide that back in. Probably should have loosened up the sling before doing this. Alright, slide it in. There's actually a track on the inside. You can see it right there. Um, this little track on the right side um, actually fits with the receiver in there. Just look in there, you'll see it. Basically you slide that together, compress that till it clicks. Alright, so now um, if you guys are familiar with the military, how we disassemble, reassemble things, uh, we're going to do a functions check real quick to make sure everything's good to go because after all we want to make sure it works after we're done messing with it um, so what we're going to do basically make sure it's unloaded first just like we did in the beginning I pulled it back locked it to the rear and as you can see it's empty right there okay so we're good to go on the functions check a lot of things with firearms are repetitive um, both for muscle memory and safety obviously I know it's unloaded I just took it apart and made sure it was unloaded beforehand, but safety first. So I don't care if I have to do it a million times, as long as nobody gets hurt, it's all good. Alright, gonna go ahead and throw the bolt forward. Alright, next step. I'm gonna put it on kill, take it off safe. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger, make sure it's pointing in a safe direction. Okay, now keep, it's important, keep the trigger depressed, don't let it go. Alright, now charge the weapon all the way. With the trigger still pressed, I'm going to let go of the trigger, you should hear a click, and then I'm going to pull the trigger, and you should hear the hammer go forward. So listen for it. Okay. And now it's good to store back in the rack. Um, that's how I store my weapons, discharge, and I want all that spring pressure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. hope it was uh, worthwhile, and I hope you got something out of it. I'm sorry it's not exactly civilian rifle um, this is my issue weapon so 
it's going to be different than an M1A, but the steps are essentially the same, pretty much. So, uh, should be good to go. All right. Well, uh, come for questions. Thanks for looking.